Hello there Youtubers, today I thought I want to show you some computer history and this will of course not interest everyone but I guess there are some out there that uh, finds this uh, a little bit fascinating and I know I'm not the first one that put out some old Commodore 64 history on, on Youtube but what the heck, I think this is quite uh, fascinating myself so um, <clears throat> what you basically see here is the startup screen of a Commodore 64. Uh, it's not uh, um, uh, the real piece of hardware here. I'm running an emulator uh, on top of my uh, Macintosh. Uh, but basically, I'm over 40 years old and I was fortunate to grow up uh, during the home computer era and I owned uh, Commodore 64 myself for. Um, many years and in the end it broke and well I couldn't repair it anymore so and but this was the computer that uh, made me decide what I wanted to do in the future and today I work as a programmer um, so it had quite a lot of impact on my life uh, a couple of days ago I just found an emulator on the internet and thought hmm uh, it could be um, nice to see if I remember something about this. So I downloaded it and I basically downloaded some old games and and had a great time. Remember, uh, had some flashbacks <laughs> from my youth. Uh, not every game looked that fancy anymore as I remember them. And but it's been a quite nice trip. So this morning I thought, um, let's see if I can remember how to program this machine. So I wrote two programs, one in basic and uh, one in assembler, doing the same thing. And that's basically what I want to show you here. So first of all I'm going to load the basic program. Um, from the emulated uh, 1541 tape uh, disk uh, drive. Okay, I should spell correctly also. This should do it. No, this should do it. Okay, let's list the program. Uh, it's not the Hello World program, at least. What this program will do, it's written in basic, it will print out the same character all over the screen. And the magic behind this program is on line 20 where I use something known as a poke command where I can put something directly into a memory address in the computer, so RAM memory. In this case I put it in the decimal place known as 1034 or in hex uh, 0400 and that's the start address for the screen memory on the Commodore 64 and then I loop all the screen memory from 0 to 1023 meaning I will print out 1024 characters on the screen so let's run this program and remember this computer is running in a faithful 1 megahertz, not 1 gigahertz, it's 1 megahertz, it's running basic uh, that's interpreted, it's not compiled behind this, so this will take some time. Uh, but I remember when I first got my Commodore 64 that I thought it was uh, a really fast computer, but hey, it's again over 25, 26 years ago. Okay, um, so this was the basic program, uh, I will pause it here, I will load in an assembler and I will show the same program running an assembler and showing you why I after a while left basic and started to program in assembler on the Commodore 64. Okay, so what I will have done here is basically loading a program into the Commodore 64's memory known as an assembler. And the program I chose here is Assembly 64. Uh, basically, well, of course, it's uh, very easy to use, and I still remember after 25 years how to use it. Um, well, an assembler is basically a human readable form of machine code because machine code is basically zeros and ones, and it's not so easy for a human to read. Uh, so, someone was uh, nice enough to write something known as assembler where you can. Uh, 
could take uh, a set of zeros and ones and combine them to an instruction and in, an instruction that is readable for us humans. So what you do is load this assembler, you're writing an assembler program and then you compile it and getting machine code and you can run that machine code. Um, I won't get through in detail what this program do here and uh, what I start is, uh, is um, setting up where in the raw memory uh, I want this program to be placed. Uh, there are certain areas in the Commodore 64 where you can place your machine code. In this case uh, I start others for this program is 49152 or 0C00 I think in hex if I remember that correctly. Mm, then I use uh, an assembly command known as load the accumulator and I load uh, a zero into the accumulator and then I move that zero to the X register and um, you remember that I want to loop from zero to 1023 and the Commodore 64 you have certain registers and they can uh, hold a value of maximum 255 so Within a loop that goes from uh, row 70 to uh, row 120, uh, row 120, actually I uh, print out the character on four different portions of the screen and um, decreasing from 0 to 255 because uh, the X register minus 1 is not. Uh, um, uh, the X register with a zero in minus one is not minus one, it is 255. Uh, and that's how I can cheat a little bit here in the assembly code and start written characters on four different portions on the screen memory. And uh, uh, if you take 255 times four plus four, you uh, end up in the area of 1024. Um, so that's basically what this program do. I have uh, the routine that prints a character is the row where it says something with STA and that STA means uh, store the uh, value from the accumulator that I load in line 60 and that's the, uh, the circle character that I used in the basic program and print it in uh, screen memory 0400 plus X, 0500 plus X, 0600 plus X and 0700 plus X and uh, then I decrease the X register on 110, decrease X with 1 and so the next uh, turn it would be start with 0, 255, 254 and so on and uh, on line 120 I say as long as uh, branch not equal 0 and the X register not 0 go back to fill on line 70 and line 130 is just as this program is finished ok so let's run this program uh, I do this in my on the Commodore by giving it command sys and then I tell the start address that was 49152 and it didn't show me anything because I forget to assemble the program so uh, let's do that first and that is done by hitting the at sign A10 the test me what row and there I did assembler and now I should be able to run the program Bam! Uh, quite a lot faster than uh, the corresponding medicine program. Uh, don't you think? Let's do it one more time, and you might understand why you why you went over to assembler. Remember, still this computer is running in one megahertz, so it's quite impressive what you can do in assembler on a one megahertz eight-bit computer. Um, that's why I basically still find this old uh, computer is fascinating. Um, I've seen a lot of very good things mm, humans and have done for this uh, machine in the 80s and 90s especially in the DMC so that's basically what I want to show